Welcome back to Gentleman's Corner, guys. My name is David. Today I have a review for you, and the review which I will be doing is pipe lighters and cigar lighters and any other kind of lighter or flame-related material you can think of within reason related to pipes and cigars. <laughs> Um, so today I'm going to take you through just a few of the different kinds of lighters that I think are the best and worst for lighting your various forms of tobacco. I'm going to start off with the one that everybody knows because everybody has access to it because everybody has seen one in their time, whether it was somebody lighting a cigarette or lighting candles on a birthday cake, and that is the classic Bic lighter. So this is the lighter that you can get at a drugstore, at a gas station, pretty much anywhere. Um, it's very basic, it's got butane and a flint wheel. You do that and it lights up and it's all pretty and sparkly. So <clears throat> this is a very basic lighter. Uh, it does come in a couple of different sizes. So you can get a larger one, you can get a smaller one like that. Still just as big a flame actually, So, which is nice. These lighters uh, go for anywhere between two and four dollars a pop at your local gas station or convenience store. Um, you can get them in multi-packs, you can get them in just about any kind of color or pattern you can think of, which is very nice. However, this is where the caveat comes in. Um, the problem with these is you can burn yourself really, really easily uh, if you're trying to light a pipe. And uh, I'll just grab a pipe real quick to demonstrate for you what I'm talking about. So if you have your pipe and you're holding it in your jaw and you light your lighter, unless you're holding it at an angle like this, if you do it like that, you're gonna burn your, your finger. The other problem about these is they are disposable, but they're not refillable. Now they are cheap enough that it's not really a problem that they're not refillable but if you have one that you really, really like, it can be a problem. The other problem with these, they're not windproof, um, which for anyone like me who smokes outside, that can be a problem. Uh, these are great for pipes if you're indoors, but they are not great for cigars. A cigar takes so long to light using a soft flame that by the time that you get this, <coughs> or by the time you get your cigar lit, this part on it, this metal shield around the, um, around the emitter is going to be so hot um, you almost can't put it down. You, you can't touch it, you can't do anything with it. Your thumb is going to get tired from holding it. So I prefer not to use Bic lighters in general. Um, I keep them around just in case I literally don't have anything else to use, um, but I prefer other forms of lighters. Now keeping in the uh, Bic family of product, um, is this lighter, and this I got from my local brick and mortar. This was about $7, um, and it is just a beefed up Bic that has an offset uh, so that when you're lighting your pipe, your uh, finger is further away from the flame, which is really, really nice. Now, the other benefit about this is it is refillable. Most pipe and cigar shops have these. Again, good for pipes, not so good for cigars, but usually it works and it's got a pretty long lifespan because it is refillable. Uh, now, <clears throat> we're gonna get into a more popular form of lighter, which is something sort of like this. And this is a click lighter. Um, this is the one that everybody thinks of when they think of a pipe lighter, uh, other than maybe the I Am Corona uh, old boy uh, style pipe lighters. This is what everybody gets uh, when they're ready to upgrade. This, is, this particular one is a jet line, um, but I know that several other makers make this style <coughs> of, uh, of lighter. I've had this for about a year now, and <coughs> when I am in my home or when I'm at my local brick and mortar, it is a great lighter, um, or at least it was. Much like uh, Bradley over at Stuff and Things, I have had trouble with it lighting. Um, you saw when I first lit it up, it doesn't always light anymore. Um, and it, it, it drives me nuts. Um, this one was about $12. And so it's not a huge investment, but I was hoping for more out of it. Um, the style of lighter is called a piezo lighter. 
and um, it's just a fancy way of saying it's a click lighter. You can get these in several different styles. Um, this one is one I got in Las Vegas where you slide the top of the chip and it lights. Um, there's another version I have here that I will show you from my personal collection. This is one that I bought while I was in Tokyo. Um, so it's got a very nice uh, castle on it. If you flip it up, it opens up. And I haven't filled it, but it would light if I had filled it. So there you go. That's the benefit of this style of lighter is you can get it in multiple kinds of designs. Um, so it's, it's fun, it's quirky. Um, again, good for pipes, not for cigars. Now we get into lighters that are good for pipes excuse me, pipes and cigars. So what we have here, this is a classic Zippo. And uh, I'm saving uh, torch lighters for last if that's what you're watching this video for. So this is a classic Zippo. Um, this one was $15. I believe this is the brush nickel finish. Um, so it's got a, a very nice look to it. So as you can see, it's got the standard Zippo chimney on it. What I love about Zippos is they always, always light, uh, unless they're out of fluid. And it's just so long as you remember to fill it every couple of days, these things are workhorses. Now what I like about the Zippo is <clears throat> it is a classic design and it's windproof. This is the biggest issue I have always had with pipes and cigars is I predominantly smoke outside. So I need something that's windproof. Originally I had gotten this guy because I was hoping if I angled it down into the bowl, it would knock out some of the wind resistance, but it didn't. So what I instead did was I got this. This is another Zippo. And this is the Zippo pipe lighter. Now what is so nice about this one is it has a pipe hole. So it actually will allow you to light your pipe without damaging the rim of your bowl. If you're trying to use a classic Zippo to light a pipe, the problem is once you put it in, it's gonna have to bend over the chimney and that can cause damage to the rim of your bowl. So what's great about this is, if I can get it open, you can hold it directly over the bowl and not damage the rim of your pipe. Now, I have also found that Zippos are great for lighting cigars. You do get some of the Zippo fluid taste in the first few puffs, but it's not going to taint your entire bowl, uh, or your entire cigar for that matter. Really, that is the primary complaint that I've heard about Zippos, is people complain about the fact, oh, I don't like the taste of the, the, pipe, or of the, the fluid in my cigar, or in my pipe. Um, and I, I just think those statements are a little overrated. Um, I think people are a little oversensitive about it um, because they're used to butane lighters. So, but a Zippo is a perfectly fine way to light your pipe or cigar. Now, if you want to go the butane route, um, you can get an insert where you can take this out and put in a butane insert from a company called Thunderbird. <clears throat> uh, they sell their products on Amazon and it is a butane insert with a pipe lighter chimney on it. Now, I have also heard complaints about this that the Thunderbird insert <coughs> tends to leak. Um, so you fill it up with butane and then all of a sudden you have no butane left two or three days later um, because the latch gets stuck that actually feeds the, the butane out through the, uh, the nozzle. So, that does it for soft flame. Um, and like, like I said, the Zippos are great. Um, this one is a great bargain. This Zippo is the matte black pipe lighter. I got it for $10 on Amazon. I'll put a link to that in the description box below so that you can go purchase yourself one. I highly, highly recommend them. Now, what everyone else has been waiting for, all you cigar smokers, we have the torch lighter. 
This is a budget torch lighter that I bought from my local brick and mortar for about $15. This is a Calibri Firebird. This is a uh, three torch, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a really nice torch flame on it. So um, I can light up a cigar with this in nothing flat. I absolutely love this lighter. It's refillable, the flame is adjustable, which is really nice. Um, so it is a workhorse, it has never failed me, and it's windproof. So if you're out smoking outdoors, I like a fast light. If I'm lighting a cigar, I tend to use a Firebird. Now if I'm in a brick and mortar, I may or may not use uh, a torch lighter on a cigar. I tend to find that tobacco tastes better when it's lit at lower temperatures. So <clears throat> let me just show you the classic example here. The classic example of how to light a pipe or cigar is matches. Now, granted, this is a pipe match, so it is much, much shorter than what you would use on a cigar. But matches burn uh, at, I believe it's like four or 500 degrees, something like that. Um, whereas a soft flame lighter uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're burning butane or fuel, will burn anywhere from um, five to 600 degrees. So you're looking at you know, roughly 400, 450, um, 600, something like that. Briar starts burning around 800 degrees. This burns at about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. So do not use a torch lighter on your briar. You will burn out the bowl. You will destroy your pipe. It will not be fixable. This is a fact of life. Um, as much as you think this is convenient to light a pipe, it is not. You will ruin your pipe doing that. If you wanna do that, do it with a corn cob or something cheap that you can throw away afterward. Um, so, there you have it. I Like I said, I have used all of these lighters and all of them have their merits, all of them have their problems. The Bic lighters and this you know larger click wheel lighter, um, they have the benefit that they are cheap, readily available, they're convenient, you can keep 10 or 12 of them around for not a whole lot of money. Um, but at some point they do run out of butane and you can't see when they're about to run out of butane because they have an opaque casing. Uh, and they're not refillable. So you're always kind of gambling with that. And you have the potential to burn the bejesus out of your fingers. So <clears throat> positives and negatives. Um, the Jetline, this style of pipe lighter, it's good uh, if you're indoors. Uh, this, this is not gonna stand up to any kind of wind at all. And after a period of time, they do tend to break down. Um, and you can send them in for service, but I mean, for the price that you pay for them, it's not really worth it. Zippos have withstood the test of time since their creation. Um, they've got both the regular and pipe lighter inserts, and so long as you remember to fill them, they will always light. You never have to refire them. Um, and they will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. Jet lighters. The uh, Firebird by Calibri, the uh, Jetline lighters, uh, by, I think it's Zycar, uh, and of course there are you know multiple upgraded versions of these lighters, all work phenomenally, uh, but they are not for pipes. So there you have it. Just a few uh, kind of descriptions of some of these products and what you can and can't use them on. Some of the positives and negatives. Uh, if you would like to purchase any of these products, I'll try to throw some links down in the description <clears throat> into the description box below, uh, at least for the Zippos and the um, uh, jet lighters, uh, the torch lighters. So, but other than that, that's all I've really got for you today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And uh, as always, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're smoking something really wonderful. Um, if you'd like to get in touch with me, you can find the links to my Instagram and Twitter below. 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit that notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell and it will ring when I upload new videos. Other than that, my name is David. This has been a products review on Gentleman's Corner. I hope you're having a good day. And other than that, have a great one.